Hello, I'm Tiam Singh. Today, we are going to do a productivity tool giveaway. It is called Copy to Cripbox. Have you ever used E3D and you want to copy a cat ref from one section to another section? So normally, you queue the cat ref and you do a copy and then paste on the other section. With the extendable tool that we give you, you can download the tools in the links below. All you have to do is to select the component, the branch member, and then you select SCOM, which will copy the cat ref into the crib box. Next, you go to new section and you do a control V and there you have it. The cat ref is copied. First, we are going to give you a dynamic link library or a DLL. This is a PML.NET function, which we actually create something called copy to crib box. And basically what copy to clipboard does is that it will store whatever text you give it into the clip box. In order for this object to be callable from PML, you have to have the PML net callable in the programs. So when you compile the program, it will create the DLL that you need. Next, we will create a PML function to actually use the clipboard object. The first thing that we need to do is to import the DLL and that is done by using the import command. Remember in the import command, please do not add the dot DLL in the import text. You can see that I've stored my import text in that particular directory. There you have it. Put it in any directory that you want but make sure that you do not have the .dll in your import statement. Because you only can import one time, when you import, it's good to actually put a handle any because if you import the same DLL more than one time, you will get an error. Next, we will use the using namespace to use the object. And here I have actually put another error handling just in case that the DLL was not loaded correctly. Next, this function allows you to put a command string. Using the old method of assigning information to a variable, I use the variable exclamation string C and the command to actually assign whatever input to the string C. Lastly, when the text we want is ready, we just have to use our copy to clipboard component and it will copy whatever string we input into the clipboard. So this function file is supposed to be stored in your PML lib directory. Remember, you please use an alternative PML lib directory and you have to do a PML rehash all to activate the function. Now back in E3D, we have to customize our manner to add the function of the name and SPCO and SCOM that I've done previously. For the SCOM command that I demonstrated previously, basically it's just to call the function and give the command cat ref. So basically cat ref will export the cat reference from the item that we have selected. So let's say we want to get the copy the piping spec from the branch. So let's create another function and call it piping specs or p specs. Next in the command, we will use exactly the same function, but this time instead of cat ref, we will use the command p spec or when you queue p spec for the branch. Piping spec to get the information about the 
by being spat from the branch. Next, a few things to clean up. In the display star, instead of the default, I will choose text as I did not actually input any icon for this button. Lastly, I'm going to put my piece back into my navigator, which is the list of name, SPCO and SCOM. With the button set up, we are ready to test our copy to clip box. Let's navigate to the branch by typing the branch command and we will now select the piece pad that we just created. Selecting the piece pad button, we will copy the piece pad to the clipboard and Control V, you can see that our piping pad have been copied. Use this tool to add other copy to clipboard items that you frequently use. Hope you find this food useful. Bye.